Now I have five EN members permanently in Japan. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still trying to see if being there for a couple months is a possible thing to do. I probably won't be there for like a whole year, but I would at least like to plan for a couple months in case stuff overlaps, especially near the end of the year. I know Bay wants to. I know Bay is always like, it's the move. <laughs> You yeah, should move in. Uh, move in with me. Eh, it's like the thing is, as much as I love the members, I don't think, I don't think I'm socially okay to be living with others. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's like it's just I don't want to cause trouble, and I feel like everyone. It's like I don't want to trouble them with my really weird schedule. <laughs> Living schedule. Especially thinking about having like a roommate, right? It's like... I... Sleep... And take showers... And clean at the weirdest time of the day. <laughs> like, I will take showers at like 3 to 4 a.m. in the morning. And I will vacuum at like 3.30 a.m. And sometimes it looks like my room is messy. But I just have a certain schedule in mind where... All the things I will clean um, lines up with like the the garbage truck schedule or like recycling schedule, etc. So like that's the thing. That's one of the reasons I wanted to you know move out of my family home too was because even though like my family didn't mind, I just still felt you know conscious of their existence in the house and I want it to be very independent. I think it's good to visit and like, you know, stay over for like maybe like a day or two. That's completely fine. But I think when it comes to like more of like a permanent staying at someone's place, it's like there are certain, you know, ritual, not rituals, but like schedules and like how someone is used to doing something, etc. I don't... I don't want to, you know, intrude too much. Evil rituals? Definitely not. Rituals? No, of course not. We're not a cult. 